When participating in any exercise program, there is a possibility of physical injury and an increased load on the heart, which may result in dizziness, shortness of breath, and in extreme circumstances may result in a heart attack. If you experience any dizziness or pain, stop exercising immediately and seek medical attention as required. By participating in this exercise program, you agree to freely accept all associated risks, dangers, and hazards. The governors of the University of Alberta, their officers, employees, and volunteers are not responsible for any injury or loss of any kind sustained by you while participating. Consult your physician before beginning any exercise program. Hi, I'm Chelsea Coghill with Campus and Community Recreation. Welcome to this uh, natural movement workout practice. Um, so we're going to be going through five movements. I'll demonstrate them first and then you can move along with me for one round of the workout. Okay, so we're going to move through five different uh, movements together. I'll demonstrate them first and then you'll do them with me for one round and then you can repeat the sequence on your own time. So the first movement that we're going to do is a squat with a push press. So you can do any of this with or without a weight, but if you do have a weighted object, you're just going to take your weight into this goblet position. Um, you can hold it here, inhaling down, exhale, pushing the weight up and overhead. So you're using the hips and the glute to drive that weight up and overhead. Um, you can just hold it in this goblet position as well and um, without adding that press. So that's movement when, number one, the squat with a push press. Uh, number two, we're gonna do a backward sprawl. So there's two variations of this movement that you could choose. Uh, the first one will be from the knees. We're gonna start in this flexed foot kneeling position. You're gonna place the hands down and then you're just going to jump back into a plank, jump forward, knees to wrists, and then sit back into that flex foot kneeling position. So one more time, jumping back, flex foot kneeling. If you wanna do this from standing, we can start um, standing up, we're just going to come down, jump back into this plank with an extended spine, and then jump forward to stand one more time like that, and all the way up. Movement number three, we're going to come into a, a deep split squat walk, and I'll give you a few different variations. So you're going to take your weighted object, if you're using one, and you don't have to use one, putting it into this front rack position. I'm gonna take a small step forward. I'm gonna drop down so my back heel lifts, deep split squat, coming all the way up, small step forward, and then dropping down, and then come back up. So if that deep knee bend is uncomfortable or painful, we'll just turn this into a walking lunge alternatively. So just taking a step forward, back knee lightly taps down, step forward, knee taps down. Okay, so th uh, the fourth movement is a single leg deadlift. So you'll have your weight in the opposite hand. I'm gonna soften the knee of that standing leg, hinging at the hip, shoulders and hips square to the ground, and I'm gonna come up. If I can, I'm gonna keep that back leg floating the whole time. Core is engaged, shoulders are back. Uh, and the back is engaged. That arm that's holding your weight is relaxed. Next, you can drop your weight. We're gonna move into a, a get up movement. So we're gonna rock into a cross squat get up and rock back, come up into a cross sit position and come up to stand using those hands as a counterbalance, changing the cross of the feet and coming up to stand. Okay, so that's the five movements that we're going to move through. The intervals will be 45 seconds each with a 15 second rest and we're going to start in 10 seconds. So if you're using your weighted object, grab a hold of that um, in this goblet position, finding your stance. Toes can be slightly out, heels slightly in to get a little bit more depth and we're going to move starting now. So 45 seconds, inhaling down, exhaling, pushing up using the hips to drive that weight up and overhead. So it should feel relatively weightless at the top of the move. If you wanna remove the press, then you're just gonna hold your weight in this goblet position the whole time. That's totally fine. So squat down and push that weight up and overhead. And again, you can still do this without your weight. So moving quickly, but always focusing on quality controlled movement. We've got less than 10 
seconds to go here. Pushing your pace. Last three, two, one. Right away moving into that backwards sprawl. So we have 15 seconds to rest. So I'll demo the first portion from the knees. And if you wanna come from standing, you can do that. Ready, three, two, one. Sprawling back into that plank. Flex foot bling. So moving nice and quick. Ensure that you're breathing, bracing through your core. Big jump back. So you can keep going. This kneeling sprawl. Or we can start from standing, jump back, extending through the spine, and then jumping forward. Keeping the arms straight, shoulders down and away from the ears using the core to drive the movement. Almost there, five seconds to go. And that's time. Grabbing your weight if you're using it for that split squat walk. So I'm gonna load onto one side for your second round. You'll just switch arms. So taking just a small step forward, I'm dropping down, deep split squat, back heel lifts. Standing up, small step forward, dropping down, keeping the shoulders stacked over top of the hips, breathing. So again, you can turn that into a walking lunge if that deep knee bend causes any pain. So on my way back, if we wanna move into that walking lunge, Alternatively, back knee can tap down. And continuing here, got less than 10 seconds to go. Getting a few more reps in, pushing your pace. Last three, two, and one. Taking that weight on the same arm that you just loaded onto the shoulder, the opposite leg is gonna be your balancing leg. Coming into that single leg deadlift, hinging at the hip crease, keeping that back nice and flat, squaring your hips and shoulders forward, inhaling down, exhaling, coming all the way back up. So you don't have to come so far that your spine is rounding. So if the limitation is in the back of the legs or the hamstring, then you're just not hinging as deeply and that's totally fine. Try to keep your back leg floating the whole time. Ensure that you're breathing. That arm that's holding your weight is just long and heavy. Ensure that that core stay braced. Last three, two, and one. Good, last movement is our rocking to a cross squat get up. We're gonna start this one in five, in three, two, one. So I'm gonna come down, rock back, rounding through the spine, standing up. We can cross, uncross the legs or not, but I'm gonna change the cross of the legs. You're breathing through this. If you wanna make this more challenging, we remove the rock. So we just come up removing the momentum of the rock and back down. So that's one option if you're really proficient in your cross squat or you just continue with the rocking all the way up, using those arms to counterbalance. Breathing, last three, two, and one. So that's um, one round of those five movements. You're gonna do that three more times on your own and then you're just gonna switch sides with your weight so that you do two, two sides per arm with your weighted object. So thank you so much for joining, joining me and I hope you enjoyed this natural flow workout.